So, today I'm going to try something different. It's basically a post commentary because, well, I'm trying to do something a little bit better with my games and just play it randomly. And since the subject of my replay is a game I really enjoy, I must say. I'm fiddling with the music here. Yeah, there is, was a reason for trying to shut off the music. Because I tried to... Well, have just this little apple sound. So that their sound quality would be a little bit louder than the music itself, which I was going to post, like, on top of this stuff to be a little quieter, but it didn't work because the music and the sound file are exactly the same in the game. And I can't understand this, it's not like a very large game where you can divide like sounds from music. Although I can do it in any game if you try. But in, it's not about that. It's about the game I truly love. Because, well... Although it is based on the Astro Flyer, it's a really well made adaptation, which features Scooter Lou, who's trying to, well, basically conquer her inability to fly by attaching gigantic wings of herself. Or, that's a hand glider, silly me. And yeah, half of the game is made with this music because it's. Well, it creates an atmosphere perfectly when, you know, you can see Skittle trying to, like, start flying. This is basically her flight. Which you can just crush so many times before you get it perfectly right. And this is what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get a perfect run in this game. As you can see, there are golden apples here. Something like golden stuff from, well, from Astrofly, but... I've played Astrofly and I never could grab any of this kind of stuff in here. Well, I could grab them easily, so now I'm trying to grab them all, basically. And the thing is, if you miss even once, or mess up even once, then you have to restart the whole flight all over again. Or it just basically would drop your score to zero. So of course I had a little practice, as you can see here on my first title screen, I grabbed 61 of them out of 62 that I need. So then I just hit record and start practicing. <laughs> and it didn't turn out to be that long of a practice file, so you know, no cutting stuff. Plus you know, it's a mystery of whether <laughs> I get the perfect run or just crush myself. And I don't know, they do kind of add of charm. Of course, they also add an annoyance factor because I'm basically replaying the same game all over again. But I do feel my videos otherwise are not very popular to mind with this stuff. So, the game. What can I say? It consists of three stages. I never went far into Astro Flyer to kinda see how much stages are there, but one thing this game has above Astro Flyer is the stages are filled with meaning. I mean, look at Ghastly Gorge, for example, it's, it's brilliantly gorgeous and insanely fun to play around. And then you hit a Sonic Rainbow. But you know, those stages kinda have a thematic seem to them. Because first Kutalu tries to go to, up to Cloudsdale, then she tries to like conquer Ghastly Gorge with Rainbow, just casually flies around, and finally she conquers Sonic Rainbow. Which is like Rainbow Dash's ultimate technique. And there was Random Derp, and this is where I screw up most of the times because. Yeah, <laughs> 61 apples. So then, will I be able to m make it? Of course I will. Otherwise I wouldn't be posting this video. Huh. What else can I say besides I love games that kind of are like this? Well, in my original place where I kind of hit record button and just did it 
well, without any crashes for the first... Not for the first time, but for the first recording time, so... It was kind of a... Achievement of mine to replay this game by... Well, collecting all 62 golden apples there. And at first I was, like, reluctant, should I be able to make it, but... It's actually a pretty basic game, you know, once you fly a couple of times, you can... I think I did an insane amount of practice on this Sonic Rainbow, because, well... The first time I played it, I crashed into it multiple times. Basically, Sonic Rainbow does is... It's like a corridor, which... Well, which leaves you with little space to maneuver, and your wings are kinda large. So if you don't know, like, how far you can go, or how fast you need to go into one corner or another, you will crash a lot there. Yeah. Another thing that screws me over is this final, like, spiral of apples, because... I don't know, maybe it's the game, maybe it's me, but I can't get Scootle to fly smooth enough, you know? You can see my flight pattern is kinda jerky, because this is what saves you from crashing most of the times. You just move from one spot of the screen to the next too fast for the game to recognize that you've crashed into stuff. Or I guess I'm just making this stuff up. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to make it here. Or will I? But as you can see, I've never crashed in Sonic Rainbow, <laughs> because it's... Well, the first time was I tried to play this game, I spent half an a good half an hour there, and that was... That was very long ago, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of frustrated, because I missed the apple and I can't crash into stuff to get the game going faster. I guess it's not much of an achievement, because, well, if I can do it, then this challenge is too easy. Unless I have, like, a computer which just jerks you around. Because in this type of game, you do need to, like, have smooth gameplay. Or basically remember where every stuff is. Because sometimes it's hard to judge a distance. For example, in this ghastly gorge area, well, not here, but in the wine section that's coming after the cave. I basically tried to guide myself under the one apple. Since you know it's... It would be really frustrating to just try to fly through this. You know, without this apple guidance and... Despite what they appear, those beasts are too easy to dodge. I mean, I can even just fly past them on this speed up mode. Yeah, you can speed up, but I don't recommend you doing it on those parts, because, well... You know, the faster you go, the more you're prone to make a mistake, plus... It kinda breaks your pacing. So, here we go. I don't know if you can hit this random derpy to get any extra scenes, I never actually did hit her. And yeah... <laughs> this is the screen I'm being aiming to get. I mean, you can clearly see, like, the game taunts you to have what I'd call... Well, what I'd call have perfect fun with this apple count. And once you do get them, you are rewarded as much by turning the screen. Then just congratulations, here's the new rainbow's pet. <laughs> so, there we go. 